Today I want to show you how to weave in the tails on your finished project. This is just a little uh, sample piece of an afghan and it has several tails in it and there's some carry ups. Those we're not going to worry about this time. It's really important when you finish your work to weave in your tails carefully and thoroughly so that they don't come unraveled and they don't show and get fuzzy. We've chosen a, I've chosen a darning needle. This is a DK weight or a sport weight yarn, and I've chosen a, a blunt tip needle to work with. If your yarn is bigger, you'll need to choose a, a darning needle that's appropriate for your yarn. Give the yarn a little bit of an extra twist so that it pops easily through the eye of the needle. And just thread it right on there. And then what we're going to do, because there's some striping and some color work in this, I'm going to work into the color um, that I have, which in this case is this white. Let's take a look here. My yarn is threaded onto my darning needle and I have about an inch of a tail here. I'm going to work into, let's see if I can get this close enough for you to see, I am going to work into the yarn. I'm going to split through the fibers of, of the yarn and I'm going to work right along the edge of these stitches. This works whether you are knitting or crocheting and this is very important in either case. I'm going very slow so you can see what I'm doing and I'm hoping this is close enough and you see on my needle here how I am splitting through the strand of the yarn as I as I work down a couple an inch or sometimes two inches depending on the size of the project certainly the length of the needle now I'm going to very carefully pull the needle through not too tight because I don't want this to bunch and gather up just and also I will hold the knotted end and just make sure that it's just secure. Now it works best if you leave yourself a minimum of a four inch tail. Don't don't cut yourself short. Turn your work around. You can see right where I came out of the last stitch is right here. So and you can see there are a couple of strands of fiber right here. We're going to go over the top of those and we are going to go into the strand of yarn that I just wove through and we are going to split through it in much the same way we split through the strands on the other pass. And so this one is going to split back through the strands the other direction and come out right here in the end, right in the middle of that strand of yarn. And then we will again pull it through and again holding the end so it doesn't bunch or gather. Pull the needle right off. You see I've pulled the needle off. Now give it a gentle little tug. Not, I'm not pulling hard, just enough to make sure that this is smooth. and snip off a little bit of yarn and just give it a little bit of just give it a once over make sure it's still intact everything looks good very good and now now we'll do the screen tail and we're going to do it down along the side edge over here just the same technique okay I've threaded the green yarn onto my darning needle that took a little more effort than I was hoping for. I'm going to hold the work so that I can work along the horizontal edge of the rows. And I am going to work through the strands of yarn that are along the edge. This is a carry up yarn and I am not going to secure into that. I'm going to just let that kind of be off to the back and I'm just going to work into the, the yarns that are part of the stitches. Just picking up 
splitting through the middle of each one. And for about the length of the needle. And then pull that through very gently. And again, holding this so it doesn't, we don't want it to pull and stretch, but we don't want the yarn to gather that up. We need to make sure that we have a, have a nice smooth tension right there. And turn the yarn around, turn the project around, keeping that back out of the way. That carry up, and again, you can see where we popped out over here. So we're going to go over the top of that one because we don't want to go back along exactly that same thing, otherwise, it'll pull right out. And we're going to, and then we'll just work right into these, just weave right back through, piercing through the strands, and pull the needle out the other side. I've done this in a very slow manner so that you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Now we'll snip off this little bit of the tail right here. These carry ups, when I stitch an edge on here, these carry ups will be just worked over when I put the edging on. Because I did all this striping and color work, I only I only have tails where I began or ended a skein of yarn. I carry my work up the edge so I don't have to weave in a, a tail on every single end. We'll talk about that in another tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial on weaving in your tails. Visit Perfectly Naughty on Facebook for more fun tips and techniques.